All right, let's get this video started, man. Yo, 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 yo. If they know, they know. It's your boy Smoke News TV. We back here with another video. You see the thumbs up, ladies and gentlemen? Smash that like button for me. Support the channel. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. I don't know what you're waiting on, to be honest. Keep that notification bell on so you know I'm dropping my videos. And share the video. Share this video on all platforms. Do me that favor. Thumbs up, though. Smash that like button, ladies and gentlemen. It's, um, it's free. It ain't going to hurt, and it ain't going to cost you. It ain't going to hurt your feelings. Big shout out to my uh, to my members. Now, I mean, Team Smoke, Smoke Gang. Shout out to the members that cop their badges, man. Big shout out to them. Shout out to all my members that got that Team Smoke and that Smoke Gang, man. So big shout out to y'all. Let's continue with the success on this channel. Let's continue to talk our smoke. Y'all know how I do over here. So make sure y'all go get y'all badges, too, by the way. Team Smoke and Smoke Gang. So we got to talk about this, Dolph, because rest in peace to my boy, Dolph. His trial's coming up Monday, the 23rd. And a um, couple of things kind of caught my attention. You got straight drop going to separate trial that day. Oh, yeah, that part. Yeah, oh, we, we got to talk about that. We're going to react to these videos and clips. Straight drop is going to court that day, but they're doing a separate trial. So Govan is going to trial with Cornelius Smith and, and, and straight drop brother. But Straight Drop is in trial by himself. My thing is, is Straight Drop actually going to testify on some things that we don't know? Is he going to drop some names that we don't know? We don't know what's going to happen. So we got to react to this because that's, that, that's a big thing right there. So you don't know, you don't know what Straight Drop going to say with this separate trial. Let's get to that part. And then another shout out, respectfully, to the cookie shop, 20, 25 years of um, business. 25 years celebration to y'all. They was on an interview. They did an interview with the news clip down there. So we're going to react to that. They brought up Dolph name in the interview. Know what I mean? So, you know, it's 25 years celebration to them. Definitely. Know what I mean? Anybody that got a business and it's success successfully going for 25 years, that's a success. So I'm getting my shout out to, know what I mean, my mom dudes over there and pop dudes. But it's just something about that Maurice Hill. It's something about the pops. It's just something about him, y'all. I, I, and a legend. Everything I speak on is a legend on this video. But it's something about the pops. And we're gonna, I'm gonna let y'all see the news clip with the they interview, interview them about the 25 year celebration. Know what I mean? With for their own business. I I I we're gonna go through all that. But like i like I'm gonna repeat myself. Something about that pops. Something about them, man. I just don't know. Mom dupes, like I said, I don't get at the elder and all that, but something about the pop stuff. We got to talk about this, y'all. So do me a favor. Y'all see that like button? Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Copyright fair use disclaimer. You can find that in my description on my channel. Everything that I speak on over here is for educational entertainment purpose. Again, copyright fair use disclaimer. You can find that in my description on my channel. Everything that I speak on over here is for educational entertainment purpose. Clips and videos I play are also owned by the original creators. So we got to talk about this. Let's go through this news clip right quick. Cause I, and then we're going to we're gonna go through the 24, I mean, um, 24 year celebration of the cookie shop, whatever. We're going to go through their little interview, what they did with the news clip with the news people too. And we're going to react to all this because I got a lot to say. But it's something about that pops. Like I compete. Like something about that Maurice Hill, man. Let's, 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 let's smash that like button. Let's continue though of Memphis rapper Young Dolph. The trial for the three men accused of killing him begins next week. Justin Johnson, Cornelius Smith, and Hernandez Govan all face murder charges. Johnson and Smith are accused of being the men who shot Young Dolph outside of Makita Cookies in November of 2021. And Govan is accused of planning the murder. Now, all face life in prison if convicted. Both Johnson and Smith are inside the Shelby County Jail, while Govan has been out on bail for the past year. Johnson's brother, Jamarcus, pleaded guilty to being an accessory last year. He admitted to assisting uh, Johnson by taking possession of his cell phone and car, so authorities would think that Justin was not in Memphis. See, the thing is, smash that like button. Do me that favor, y'all. If you haven't smashed the like, smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. So one of the men accused of killing kill Memphis rapper Young Dolph will begin his trial on Monday, according to Shelby County Courts. A spokesperson for the Shelby County Criminal Court Clerk Office told Fox 13 that Justin Johnson, also known by his stage name, Straight Drop, will begin 
begin trial on Monday, September 23rd. He would be the only person on trial for the case on Monday. Though two other suspects do have court dates on Monday, according, according to the online court records. See, that's the shit I don't get right there. How the heck, like, like, hold up, hold up. Like, is, so online court said that it, go van and I'm going to go on the court Monday, right? But they saying that right now, Straight Drop is the only one actually facing the case on Monday. They're starting on Monday with his situation. As far as the opening and all that shit, whatever they got to do. But it's like, yo, they say Straight Drop basically probably going to have a separate case. His, his trial going to be separate. So my thing is, and this is everybody want to know, is, is Straight Drop going to say a couple of few things that we don't know about? He's going to bring other people and remind you. Remember all these videos I did on my boy Young Dog. May him rest in peace. Remember what I told y'all. Allegedly, and everything I speak on is alleged. They're going to try to blame it on the dead. Straight Drop going to be like, now, now listen, the shooter, I don't know. They got to identify them shooters like to the ball because you telling me when y'all go to court, Y'all telling me that y'all can actually say that one of these niggas is straight drop without somebody actually testifying on the stand? Because it's just hard for me to believe that the dude with the hoodie in the front, this nigga looking like he a chubby nigga. And at that time, Cornelius Smith wasn't that chubby. He was skinny. Cornelius Smith gained weight ever since he'd been in, it, been in jail. Him and straight drop. Now, I want y'all to remember that call right there. Y'all see Straight Drop call, right? Because we got to get to the 24-year, 25-year celebration interview also with the, well, um, well, um, with the old man, Maurice, and, you know, the old lady. But I'm really talking about the old man because there's something about him. I just don't know. We're going to get to it. But like I was saying, let's get back to the Straight Drop. Is Straight Drop going to actually take the stand and testify, oh, I, I, yo, big joke, was the big bastard buying and this and go vain also, this and that? Is he going to do all that? If he had a separate trial, because I got to remember, Govain been on bail for the longest. What do what do Govain got under his sleeve? Let's get to that part. What what he got? A, what what he gonna say? Because according to his lawyer, his lawyer is saying that yo, right now we ain't saying nothing. Right now he ain't testifying on nobody. According to Govain lawyer, with my old videos out there, go check them out. He Govain lawyer said he ain't testifying on straight dropping nobody. So. What the hell are you going to say on that stand? Or is he even going to take the stand? Somebody got to take the stand. And with straight drop with a separate trial, allegedly, if it do be a separate trial, what the hell is straight drop going to say? Like I told y'all, they're going to blame, they're going to blame Big Joe. They're going to blame CEO TZ. Hold up, how they going to blame CEO TZ, no smoke? That nigga, nigga, he was the... Hold up. Do I got a picture of CEO Teasy here still? Oh, right here. CEO Teasy right here to the left with the blue and white goddamn arm sweater on. Right there that's knocked off next to Govain in the middle. Let's get to that part. That's the that's the alleged mastermind, right? With the nigga in the middle right there, that's Govain. Who's next to him on the left? With the light and, and, and blue sweater right there with the hoodie. Yeah, y'all guessed it. That's CEO, that's CEO on Teasy, right? That's CEO Teasy right there. Come on, man. And they say CEO TZ had with allegedly he was involved in the situation. Like I told y'all, I believe there was a third shooter. <clears throat> and I'm gonna I'm gonna continue saying that. That third shooter came right through that side of that goddamn on shot on shot with that window at that scattered. Young Dolph ran to the left. Like I've been telling y'all, he answered a phone call. Remember what old girl said? Yeah, you know, Dolph took a phone call and all this. You know, my my I mean the employee told me he walked off. Boom, that's when the ambush happened. Nigga, it was a third shooter, man. And I'm going to continue saying that. I'm going to continue saying it was a third shooter because there's no way in the world you telling me. My boy, pardon me. My boy got hit up. And the glass right there, uh, he just fell right there. And on the nah, nigga, you just ain't going to hit. You ain't going to get hit up by two, by two, by, by, by one chopper and one handgun. And all of a sudden, you're just going to fall fall on the glass. And, and my point is, you got to remember, young Dolph is tall. Pause. He's not a short dude. If Dolph would have fell towards that glass right there, I'm pretty much sure he would have hit the top glass too. And I'm lying what we're talking about here. But if you get ambushed from the side of the building and you get ambushed from the front of the building, like I explained on my last Dolph video a couple of days ago, 
you're going to end up falling like that because you you getting hit. You're getting hit from the side, you, and you're trying to scatter. You're, trying, you're like, oh, you don't know. you just getting hit up. Boom, now you fall. But I always believe for some strange reason somebody came through that white door right there because that white door is the back door. Let's get to that part. Somebody might have hit him boom, boom, a couple of times, and he fell and he fell backwards towards that window. And he was getting hit from the side also. Because I got to remember, they never explained where he got hit at back. So they said it, but I'm talking about as far as like where these niggas was hitting him at. They trying to tell us only two niggas ran up on him like this and put all that work in, right? This is what you're telling me? One nigga with a chopper and one nigga with a handgun. Nah, that third nigga can't make it. When you, my nigga, he just dodged a hundred bullets, hundred shots. He was trapped in a tight ass goddamn cookie shop that looked like it's tight. Pause. Look, look how small it is. They come from the front. Niggas come from the left, right there with the the left hand side, right there. He can't run nowhere. Where he gonna run to? I sit back. I wait. Where he gonna run to? If you got two niggas coming from the front of that window. And the nigga coming from the side of the window, what I just showed y'all. The side of the building right here. The side window right there. What are we talking about here? Y'all see that side? You see the front? You see the side? Exactly. Don't it make sense? It's an ambush. You want to bring three people, make sure you trap them in a goddamn shop where he can't run nowhere. Shots coming from this side and shots coming from the front. Where you going to run to? It's a miracle if you don't get hit. I don't know, y'all. I'm thinking, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on on Street Drop. Mine, I don't know if you're going to end up testifying, saying extra little info that we've been trying to say. Yo, Big Just was involved, allegedly. Yo, CEO TZ was involved, allegedly. We don't know. But y'all got to remember, CEO TZ got knocked off in his car right after Govan got bailed out. This is all documented. What are we talking about here? He got, he got knocked off in the summertime. See your TZ that when Govain got bailed out that year in 2022. Come on, you can't make this up, bro. It was either 2022 summer or, or last year summer when CEO TZ got knocked off, but I believe it was 2022 summer when he got knocked off. If it wasn't 2022, it was 2023. Either one. Or, or the main thing I'm trying to say, Govain bailed out. A few months later, boom, TZ got knocked off. A few months later after that, going into a new year, boom, Govain got knocked off this year in January. The beginning of 24. I mean, not pardon me, Govain on Big Jump. Pardon me. Come on. And Govain still out on bail, the alleged mastermind? Are you kidding me right here now? Come on, I've been saying this for the longest. That don't make no sense. Govain gotta be talking. He gonna say something. I keep. Don't be surprised if Big Jook name get brought up and they say he was the mastermind of this because he's the breadwinner. He's the one that had the beef with uh, 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 with Dolph and all them videos. That shit is documented. I don't play videos. He talking crazy about Dolph and Dolph going back and forth with him. What we talking about? Big Jook knocked off. Damn, blame the dead. Ain't that the new trend? Y'all blame the dead. Blame, blame the dead. Nigga, that's what everybody doing. You think these niggas ain't gonna do the same? But smoke, how they gonna blame the dead with the with the niggas that, that, that not mean the picture they got them, I mean, shooting up dog. All right, I'm gonna explain that to you. You know how? How the hell they gonna prove that that was straight dropping on Cornelius Smith and them two niggas running up in front of that shot? Who they gonna prove? They, 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 like I said, they gotta have Sean Dell and straight drop brother. Those and go vain. Those are the only three niggas that can actually prove and point fingers and testify and say straight drop and Cornelius Smith was the shooter of Young Dolph. Meaning this picture right here, what I'm trying to show y'all and explain to y'all. <laughs> Meaning this picture right here. Go vain and, 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 and Sean Dale. And, and, and who, who else? Cornelius. And they gotta prove it. They gotta prove this whole shit. They gotta, they gotta sit in the stand. It's go back. Gotta sit there and be like, yo, all right, them two niggas right there. Cause y'all know the picture gonna come up. This picture gonna come up in trial. Y'all know that. 
these this picture right here is gonna be a big factor in this trial, y'all, because they gotta identify these two niggas who shot Dolph. They gotta they gotta prove that it was Straight Drop and Cornelius Smith. They gotta prove it, and then the other witness is straight is, is Young Dolph brother, Marcus. So is Marcus gonna take the stand? What are we talking about? Because they got a footage of Marcus right here running up to the car. I don't know if this I don't know if this shit um Photoshop, but remember this footage right here. This is supposed to be Marcus right here, young drop um young Dolph brother. That supposed to be him right there chasing him down. Because remember when Dolph um, passed away, they say Marcus went, he went, he went to the car and grabbed the chopper. Oh, we're going to get to that clip. I got that clip too. Remember that girl, that, 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 that female said that she seen two cars instead of one? And she said that Marcus ran to the car, grabbed the chopper, started chasing him. That, I'm, that This is old. This ain't new. This is all document. But is this nigga going to take the stand too? That's the only way they're gonna identify these niggas. And Marcus don't even know that straight drop of Cornelius Smith either. Let's get to that part. What are we talking about here? Marcus don't know that straight drop of Cornelius. He's going about what the streets saying. Let me tell y'all something. The only people that know the truth is Memphis. Memphis know the truth, like they as they should, because that's their hood, that's their city, so they know the truth. Everything that we doing outside of Memphis, we just trying to paint the picture. We trying to paint, put the puzzle together over here. We bloggers, that's what we do. Especially when we look at a situation like a young Dolph, when there's more people involved in this situation, allegedly, and everything I speak on is alleged, but obviously there's more people involved in it. There's more players involved in the back end. What are we talking about here? I got plenty of videos on that with the young Dolph videos, man. <laughs> Come on. We ain't going to say act like now. Nah. Like I said, the only ones that can prove that was Cornelius Smith and Straight Drop is Sean Dale, Govan. Those are the only two right there. Really? Those are the main two. And, and, and Straight Drop Brother, pardon me, the main three. And I'm lying. What are we talking about here? Because I can't say, nah, yo, Marcus too. Marcus don't know who the hell them two niggas was that ran up on that shot. Only thing Marcus was saying, yo, I believe it was a third shooter, but I don't even think Marcus is going to even speak and take the stand. Let's get to that part. I don't think young Dolph brother going to take that stand, bro. And if he do, he going to just say some old BS. Allegedly, he going to keep it in the streets, continuing to keep it in the streets, allegedly. But going back to Govain, like I said, <laughs> who Govain going to blame? Y'all ever thought about that? Y'all ever sat back like, yo, hold up. How the hell Govain been on bail so much? He got locked up in Mississippi for a warrant. I did a video on that. Go check that out a couple months ago. Did a, did a vi Let him out. Nigga, he, that was a violation of his goddamn, uh, 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 of his curfew, all that shit that he got right here. Which was, Nigga supposed to not be outside a certain time, all that. Supposed to be on house arrest, all types of, and you telling me this nigga still riding around doing what he want. The alleged mastermind of young Dolphins ambush let's put it that way the plot man go ain't gonna sit back and blame this junk on big joke i don't care what nobody said somebody came from the side of that goddamn building right there and let off a few shots whatever chopper handgun whatever they had on that side window right there with that white van at what are we talking about here? That's the night when Dolph got here. What are we talking about here, man? I ain't going to sit here and tell me, nah, man. There ain't no way you fell down like that from two, from two niggas run up on you. Hell no, you're going to fall forward. You're going to fall forward. You ain't going to fall backwards towards the goddamn window. And then make a hole like that with your hands sticking out. That's the only hole, Paul's, that, that got shadowed. And it's a coincidence that his hands was out. Come on, man. That's come on, man. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, bro. The only way you're gonna fall fall forward, you gotta you got first of all, you know how thick the windows is. Let's get to that part. So once the windows got hit, they was already scattered. But Dolph had to fall backwards to hit that goddamn window. He was getting hit from the side, and them niggas came from the back. It was an ambush. How did they hold on um, Julio Fulio in the car? 
three people ran up on it. He couldn't, they couldn't go nowhere. Same way. In the cookie shop, where you gonna run to? Marcus over there to the right, dodging shit. He, come on. Remember old girl said that her employee, the last girl that took Dolph order, said Dolph took the order and walked off to the left. Marcus was, Marcus was to the right. Marcus couldn't been in the car, so he was inside. What are we talking about here, man? This is crazy, man. Let's get to this 25-year anniversary, though, with the cookie shop. Respectfully, shout out to them for the 25-year anniversary. 25-year celebration for their business. Y'all see that thumbs up right there, man? Smash that like button for me. Share this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Try to get your membership and your badge also. Do me that favor. But let's get to this uh, news clip with the 25-year celebration, you know what I mean, of the cookie shop. Listen, like I said, I don't badge the elder. That's something smoke dudes don't do over here. I respect my elder people. I respect my old lady, you know what I mean? Shout out to the old lady for having that establishment for 25 years. Salute to her. I never said nothing negative about that old lady since I've been doing this dog situation where he got ambushed at, at that cookie shop where they own that at all my videos never said nothing negative about that old because i like i said i respect the elder but something about that maurice we're gonna put we're gonna push her to the side we're gonna curve we're gonna curve her we're gonna push her to the side something about that maurice and that laugh that smile that it's just something about him let's continue though with this interview Shout out once again to their 25 years success. Bingo. Bingo. Hold up, Smoke. What you mean, bingo? No, bingo. That's what I mean. Like I said, I don't talk about we curving the old 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 lady. We curving her. We ain't seeing in this. Maurice, how the hell you don't remember when you opened that downtown factory down there on a year and a month and a few days? What was she said? Eleven days before, eleven days after young oh, eleven days after young dog passed away. And you're gonna sit there like, oh yeah, when, when, when we open this, that that bro, that wasn't not too long ago. What we talk about? And you should never forget that day. Let's get to that part. Yeah, I'm talking about the old man here. You should never she didn't forget that day. Salute to the old lady. Salute to her. They gotta remember she's a little, she's older, so they're gonna. But Maurice, no way in the world you're gonna forget that was that that day y'all opened that a couple of days. She said it was eleven days, nigga. That's not even two weeks. Let's get to that part. What are we talking about here? That's not even fourteen days. And you tell her, oh yeah, I, 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 she had to take up for you on that part. How you forget? You wanna forget, right? Because everybody allegedly, and everything I speak on is alleged, everybody always questioned the Pops. Pops look like an old player from them streets and all that. Come on, he still got that. What we talking about here? He just got that. Oh, it's just something. And in a, now, Memphis happened. Memphis happened because I know I got some Memphis subscribers. And in the thing down there, Memphis with old school pimps back in their days, back in his days. I ain't talking about now. I ain't talking about the 90s. I'm talking about back in his days. He looked like one of them dudes, you know, them 70 niggas and all that. You know, that pimp is shit. Remember, that pimp shit was heavy in Memphis also. It probably still is heavy in Memphis. I don't, I'm not mad to. But I know for a fact it was a pimping era in Memphis. Houston. All that down there. It was heavy on that pimp. He looked like one of them niggas. But what that means, smoke mentality that what's that mean always it's a money thing when you cut from that world nigga, that mentality ain't just gonna disappear your mentality is gonna be more more safe now because you're in the legal world but you're gonna bring that mentality to this world and you're always gonna figure out a way to make a dollar <laughs> always gonna figure out the way to the way to make more of what you made that part maurice got that mentality <laughs> allegedly and everything i speak on is a legend but how dare you forget it, it, 11 days prior from when your dog died that's when y'all opened up that spot downtown whatever ah, ah, ah. it was 11 days after or before it don't even matter it wasn't even two weeks it was that same goddamn week and a half no way in the world i would forget that no way in the world 
And you sitting there acting like you don't remember. The old lady, I don't want to hear you got dementia. You ain't got no goddamn dementia, so I don't want to hear that because you was just joking about that. What's going on, Maurice? Everything comes to the light when people start talking. They start, let's continue, though, because we're not even done. Let's continue. You see that like button? Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video. Respectfully, shout out to them once again for the 24, 25 year success, man. Bingo. I hope y'all peeped something that I peeped on that, on that clip right there. Anybody been following? Hold on, hold on. Before I continue, for people that haven't smashed that like, that thumbs up, smash that like button. Do me that favor. It's free. Ain't going to hurt your arm. Ain't, ain't going to cost you. Smash that like button. Do me that favor. I hope y'all peeped what I peeped on that clip that I just played y'all. He said Dolph been coming there over 10 years. Now we're going back 2021, 10 years. So that means from 20, 2011. You can say whatever. Well, 2011 going to 21 is 10 years exactly. Now I remember it was a clip. And I'm going to see if I could get to it. When he said he pulled up. And he didn't even know that was Young Dolph in the with Young Dolph in there, whatever, whatever. He said he didn't know that was his car outside, and that's when everybody. And I know I'm not bugging, so everybody can comment and tap in. Y'all know I'm. I know what I'm talking about. He said he didn't recognize the car. He said he seen Marcus banging on the door, banging on the window. Some shit he was saying. If a nigga been coming in for ten years, now remind you, he had that kind of camouflage car vet for a couple of years. And now on this new interview on the 25 celebration anniversary of your cookie shop, respectfully salute to y'all. But we got to backtrack a little bit because how you going to say that man been coming in since 2011? He had a Corvette that's camouflaged for about almost four years. From 20, 2021, he probably copped that Corvette a couple of years before that. I want to say, what, 2017, 2018? And he been coming there for 10 years. So every time he come to Memphis, obviously he always tap in. That's one of his favorite cars. He's the only one riding around in them goddamn camouflage cars. What are we talking about here? Hmm. He be coming there. He be coming there for ten years though, right? Hmm. Hmm. Let's continue. Let's get to this last clip. You see that thumbs up? Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel, man. Shout out to them. Nah, it's for real. Salute to Memphis, man. Memphis, tap in, comment it below, and respectfully shout out to them. Like I said. Cause this ain't. This, I'm just reacting to what he said, and when they brought Dolph up on the on the interview, that's all I was doing, reacting. And I caught something caught my attention with the he been coming in ten years, but then when you go back to a clip, oh yeah, I ain't recognize Dolph. I ain't know that was Dolph for me, and I mean the car. Yeah, come on. that's hard for us to believe right there. And then, like I said once again, shout out to the old lady, cause she helped him in this interview. She absolutely helped him. She made sure he ain't talk. He was doing too much smiling, too much, yeah, you know, like, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, they moving in like hotcakes. I mean, like, yeah, yo, he doing all that. Yeah, I bet you are. But salute to her for even doing something tomorrow for Young Dolph, I guess, free food, all this, whatever they doing. Shout out to Memphis. Shout out for them, for them even doing that. We probably going to see clips and all that on Instagram. Probably see a few things on Instagram tomorrow about that. Pretty much sure. It's going to hit the internet. So salute to her for bringing that up and all that. But like I said, something about that Maurice. It's just something about it, man. You got that old school mentality. You probably come from that pimp lifestyle, whatever. I don't know. It's just something about you, bro. And like I said, comment in below, smash that like button. Let's go back to an old interview, though. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Rest in peace to my boy, Young Dolph. Light one up. Y'all already know the vibes. For his usual chocolate chip cookies and ice cream. Yeah, he got two lemon and two strawberry cookies. So they was really for his mother. All right, so boom. When Dolph pulled up that day, that tend to make me think he didn't call no order in because he didn't get his usual, okay? So he pulls up at the spur of the moment, out the blue, to get four cookies for his mom. And how does she know that those four cookies was for his mother? So that tends to make me believe that him and this owner right here, they had a conversation. Him and her had a conversation, okay? And that's absolutely true. 
You see, it's like I said, I always believed in that interview that they did, the parents. I said this in my old doll videos. I always believed when they did that interview, she was getting coached. Because this nigga was on top of her. Like, I mean, he was on her shoulder like this. And then you see the eye contact, like, girl, you better make sure. Like, everybody know what I'm talking about that been following this Dolph case. Because all the platforms show this interview also. Y'all can go back, look at the whole interview, do y'all research. The old man on top of her making sure like he's coaching her or something. And on this new interview that I played for y'all, the 24, 25 year celebration on a on shot, whatever, she coached him now. You see what I'm talking about here? Because he looked like he done forgot about this shit three years ago because all this money been coming in. A legend, and everything I speak on is a legend. Go fund money in the beginning. Bags, interviews, and all that. Not her. The daughter, old girl, cookie girl. Interviews and all that. Oh, they paid her to do them interviews and a couple platforms that she did. Yeah, let's get to that part. So it's not, come on. But as far as the revenue coming in after the doll situation, yeah, you just heard them. Crazy orders been coming in. Yeah, you know, we've been we've been living it up. Teasing like this. Yeah, we've been selling them hotcakes. Yeah. Exactly. It's just something about you, bro. Let's continue, though, because we ain't done. And how the hell they didn't even know that was for his mom? That's another thing. Because old girl said that when Dolph took the, when he put the order in, he ain't say nothing about no strawberry cookies. Hmm. For his usual chocolate chip cookies and ice cream. Then he got two lemon and two strawberry cookies. So they was really for his mother. All right, so boom. When Dolph pulled up that day, that tend to make me think he didn't call no order in because he didn't get his usual, okay? So he pulls up at the spur of the moment, out the blue, to get four cookies for his mom. And how does she know that those four cookies was for his mother? So that tends to make me believe that him and this owner right here, they had a conversation, him and her had a conversation, okay? So they had enough time to talk and, and you know, and do all these things while Dolph was there. Let's continue to listen. Dolph and another young man stood in the left corner of the store on their cell phones and never saw it coming. Maurice drove up to see his workers raising their heads from ducking bullets and the young man. All right, so boom. Now, you mean to tell me Dolph and this young man are standing in the left corner of the store, right by each other, on their cell phones. They didn't see the ambush coming. So why is Dolph the only one hit if the young man was standing right there next to him in the same corner? If Dolph got hit over 20 times, why the young man did not get hit one time? Somebody please explain that to me. That's very suspicious. But we're going to carry on and we're going to get the full story. Then we're going to chop it up. He was just distraught. He was hysterical. He was punching on the window and because I didn't know what was going on. I didn't, I didn't, I, I didn't know there was a body laying there and... I thought, matter of fact, I thought he had shot the place up himself. All right. So see, when Maurice started talking, something don't sound right. So when Maurice drove up, he said he drove up to his employees getting up from ducking bullets. So that means he drove up right after it happened. Okay. So you mean to tell me he said he don't know what happened? You ain't see these bullet holes in your establishment? You didn't see, you ain't know what was going on. So you didn't see Dolph's camouflage Corvette outside your cookie shop. So you didn't know Dolph was inside this building. Come on, brother. That don't sound right. If Dolph been coming out all his life, you know what Dolph look like. You know what Dolph drive. So you don't know that this Dolph laying on your establishment floor dead? Come on, brother. Then you had the nerve to say you thought the young man who was with Dolph shot up your place. I, I thought he had shot it up. I, I didn't know what was going on. Come on, brother. Something about that, that, that's real suspicious, Maurice. That don't even sound right, man. You know who Dolph is, but we're going to continue to listen to you lie, brother. Hill says just a year ago, young Dolph told him he wanted to tell the world about Makita's. The baker now feels an eerie and painful coincidence between what's happening now and the store's namesake. Shout out to the homie, man. Shout out, because he, 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 definitely, he definitely said the same thing I've been saying. If that man been coming in, now y'all just heard him say it on the new 25-year celebration interview. 
Yeah, you know, dog been coming in like 10 years. Nah, man, you know, I had to come back here. You could drop me off. I feel comfortable around here. That part. Yeah, I ain't just hear when that in that new interview when I when he said, Yeah, I had to reopen the shop here because you could just drop me off here. I feel comfortable here. Then he just skipped over the doll shit. He didn't, I mean, he didn't even talk about it no more. He just, yeah, you know, like, yeah, yeah. Then forgot when he opened the downtown factory one. I mean, he forgot it was the same week Dolph got, basically Dolph got ambushed. You forget, but the old lady didn't forget, though. Shout out to her. It's just something about that Maurice, like my man said, it just doesn't sit right. Pause. Let's continue, though. You see that thumbs up? Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, so they left him in the shop. Now that's Maurice standing right here. This is Maurice right here standing. Yeah, so they left him in the shop, so I go. Oh, but I hear it, man. He was my letting them up the Draco on loose. Oh, yeah, he was trying to hit some shit, but. Now remember the picture I showed y'all at the beginning. This picture right here. Remember in the beginning of this video, I told you there was a witness saying that he seen him go to the car. He was laying that Drake on loose. Ah, ah, ah. Allegedly. And everything I speak on is alleged. This is what she's talking about. Let's go back. Yeah, so they left him in the shots out, though. Oh, did you? But I hear it, man. He was, man, letting them up the Drake on loose. Yeah, he was trying to hit some shit, but. All right, I would have run down the street behind that ass with that mother. Look, look, look. He's so bugging right now. Why they handcuffing him, though? I don't know. Because he won't, he he won't leave. Stay. Look at Maurice walking off cool, looking at, looking at, looking at dog brother like, <clears throat> I don't know. Like I said, everything I speak on is a legend. I'm reacting. Giving my opinion. It's just something about this guy. I just don't know. It's something about it. The way he, I mean, he stumbled on his words. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that was dog, this and that. How, now, remember this girl said it was two cars that pulled up? There was some niggas that pulled up and just, just let out over 50 shots. I'm talking about busting. I'm talking about, I'm standing, we want to go down there, baby. I'm, we sit, we at the shells and she, and me and my baby getting out the car. And I'm talking about before I even got to the door, uh, the shells go open up the door and shit. Bah, bah, I'm talking about all oh, you hear gunshots. So I'm looking, come here, I'm grabbing my baby to see where they coming from and shit. I'm looking and see that it's over there at the washer that I was just at yesterday and shit. It's the cookie shop next door to the washer. They busting at that moment. I'm talking about. Bussing, number shots, two fucking cars full of niggas. Pull up. Oh, you like I said, see your TZ allegedly, and everything I speak on is alleged. See your TZ was in that other goddamn car. There was three people that ambushed off, not two. Is straight drop gonna say that in a separate trial that he's gonna be in on Monday or continuing in his trial? Is he gonna say something? Like I said, don't be surprised they blame it on the dead a little bit in this trial. The CEO Teasy, the big jook, the mastermind, the one with the money, the one that had one end in the streets and one leg in the industry. What are we talking about here? The one that couldn't stand Dolph, the one that felt like Dolph was in the way. His brother couldn't do it because his brother's all the way up top already. He's in the industry. He climbed that ladder. He went through them doors. Meaning, yo, got it, if y'all know who I'm talking about. Allegedly. So who's the who's the big bro that sell one leg in the, one leg in the outside in the, on streets and one leg in the industry? That's big joke. Yo, Gotti brother. Who you think bong glow griller? Who you think bong money bag yo? Who you think bong big boogie? Those are three artists that's popping already in CMG. Big Juke brought him to mom, Yo Gotti. Yo Gotti ain't go over there and grab them, grab no talent. But y'all got to remember, Yo Gotti wasn't even trying to hide. I'm trying to sign niggas. Big Juke was doing the signing. 
Nah, but he got ESTG and all this. Yeah, after Big Jug died. That we talk about. Now he ain't got no choice but to do it. And he got somebody else playing that PR role, whatever, scouting role to go get some talent. But that was Big Jug bringing talent in the town, bringing it to him. What we talking about? I just gave y'all three artists. One that's right now popping off of awards and everything. Glorilla. Where's she from? Memphis. Who work was that? Big Jug. Before he, before he passed. Because she was going to go sign with PRE. What are we talking about here? But the, Dolph passed away. Uh, eight, seven months later, going into the spring, the next year, she signed with CMG. Go do y'all research. Who born going to CMG? Big Joe. They're going to blame it on the dead, allegedly. And everything I speak on is alleged, but don't be surprised they bring them up in court. And like I said, who gonna testify and point the fingers and say them two niggas that they got on photo is actually straight dropping Cornelia Smith? Only people that can say something like that, yo, said on the stand, yo, that yeah, that was that was him, that yeah, the nigga with the hoodie, that's oh, that's straight, that's straight drop, that's that's Justin. The only ones that can say some shit like that is Govain, number one, the alleged mastermind, Sean Dale. The one that you haven't been seeing, the one that they got all hiding and shit. I've I, I been playing the video that. I'll get to another video tomorrow and bring them up again. And straight drop brother. Those are the only three niggas, three witnesses that could sit there and say the shooters was dumb too. Now, if they don't say that, who the hell else they got who they witnessed to get on the stand and say the two shooters was dumb? I sit back and wait. Who y'all gonna say? The employee inside the store? Remember, they had ski masters on. What are we talking about here? There's only three people that could say that them two niggas that was right here in this photo, that was the shooter, that was the the, 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 the shooter that killed Young Dolph. The only three people that could say that's them, that's them two is Govain, Straight Drop Brother, and Sean Dale. Those are the only three. I'm just telling y'all now early before this trial start. So we just, I don't know if we're going to suspect Govain hit us with something. I mean, he might hit the, I don't know, but his lawyer said he's not even testifying. Straight drop got a, he got a separate trial. He got different juries and everything. What are we talking about here? And he supposed to be the last shooter, the last one that killed Young Dolph. And Cornelius Smith is the, the, cold, is Cody. It's only three people that could say that was done, and I just told y'all. But something about Maurice, I just don't know. Like I said, allegedly, there's more people involved in this back end, and everybody feel that way, and everybody know that. Yeah, it is. Yeah, they, yeah you know, they've been selling like hotcakes. So, yeah, yeah, we've been getting crazy on this now. Yeah, you know. But forgot the forgot the forgot the date that you opened a factory down there downtown of, of the of the other cookie shop though. But it was 11 days after Young Dolph died or 11 days before Young Dolph died. Either one. The old lady there, forget. Like I said, something about him. Old lady ain't got nothing to do with this. Something about Maurice. Just doesn't sit right. Pause. <laughs> Let me get up out of there, gang. Y'all don't know vibes, man. Make sure y'all comment it below. Y'all see that thumb? Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Try to get your membership. Get your badge. Get Team Smoke or Smoke Gang. Make sure you share this video also, by the way. But I know y'all. Make sure y'all comment it below because I want to hear y'all opinion, y'all theory. It's just something about them I just don't know. Just something. Just got that feeling, that gut. And I've been having that since this shit started. I don't know what it is though, man. I'm up out there. If they know, they know. It's your boy Smoke News TV, man. Salute, gang. Y'all know the vibes. I'm up out there, man. Make sure y'all smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Rest in peace to Young Dolph also.